Hi everyone, CJ here, and my guest today is a gentleman called Fenets Orban, but he's Hungarian, and uh, as with the old axiom, when in Rome, do what the Romans do, so he's changed his name to Frank. So welcome, Frank. So Frank, we're here to talk about aquaponics today, and um, aquaponics, I think, I know it goes back hundreds of years with the Chinese, but uh, most people in the West don't really know what it means. I mean, we most of us know what hydroponics is. Uh, what is the difference between aquaponics and hydroponics? Well, the aquaponics is um, is a combination of hydroponics and aquaculture. Aquaculture is basically fish keeping. Oh. Um, so you combine that too. Um, therefore, you give aquaponics its own principles. It um, excludes the backsides of the, the other two systems. Um, which is basically toxic waste producement. In hydroponics, you have to add a specific artificial fertilizers to your system to take care of your one single crop system. You can only grow one sort of plant in a hydroponic system because it's specifically fertilizing it. Those artificials cannot fully absorb in that water after a while that water gets too dense with the artificial fertilizers, you have to dump it. That's toxic waste going out to the environment. Same as in aquaculture, you have to change 30% of your water every single week to keep the water clean for the fish. That 30% that goes out to the environment, it's toxic. The fish excretes ammonia, that's fish poop. Uh, it's toxic for the fish, you have to dump it. While in aquaponics, that fish poop turns into plant food right. simply because there are bacteria living in, in the gravel amongst the plants that turns that ammonia into nitrate, then nitrate. That nitrogen is the plant food. The plant's taking up that food and leaving it clean to the fish. That water drains back to the fish, so this is a closed loop system. Uh, the so fish and the plants live in symbiosis. They mutually help in each other, so you don't need to change any water, you don't dump any anything to the environment. So hydroponics is more toxic to the environment, and aquaponics um, it can is be. much more efficient with water. It, yes. Yeah. Right. So that would have a, a big bearing on in very dry climates, I imagine. Absolutely. Um, aquaponics system saves up to 90% of your water, right. simply for the fact that you don't water anything, you just run one water pump that circulates the same water around, around, around. All you need to do is just refill uh, the water that the plants used up or there's a little bit of evaporation of course. But So the plants themselves, are they um, in soil? or No, we, they, there are several different growing methods in aquaponics. It depends on the type of the plants you're using. Um, we always use uh, grow media, some sort of gravel. It can be blue metal or the little clay pebble stones that I like to use. Um, they just simply give space and, um, and surface for the beneficial bacteria to grow and make the whole ecosystem work. So you think the future for aquaponics is uh, very bright? Like as Absolutely, I see that this is going to transform the way we grow food and the way we purchase our food. Um, especially here in Australia where there's always water shortage. Farmers are suffering from droughts. A system that saves you 90% of your water in a year, it's huge. So would you say the farmers um, who are going through droughts right now would be far better off with an aquaponic system? I think so too. Right. I think so, yes. And also people having backyards, even just having a small system and growing something, you know, could benefit not just their health, but thinking of um, any sort of crisis in the future that could cut the food supply off. I, w I think Australians take a lot for granted, they don't realize that they're real, relying on one food source that is not even nutritious. Mm. I mean, me as growing up, eating 
what my my parents were, were growing just carrots straight from the dirt wiping off i ate it tasted beautiful i used to pick my breakfast of the of the peach tree when i went outside and as I, I was growing up and went on buying the supermarket food i cannot taste that anymore that taste just disappeared so when i came across with aquaponics and and i first got the chance to taste that food that's when i was like the flavor yeah, from my childhood yes yeah, yeah. so it, it 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 just made sense to me you can taste the nutrition out of it well there does seem to be a dumbing down of food if you like to put it that way um whereby the food that we're eating nowadays i've noticed like with mangoes for instance they're very smooth flesh inside uh, there's no texture anymore they used to be quite stringy mm. and much more potent in taste yeah. you know and it seems to be happening right across the whole food spectrum yeah it's 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 simple because they're modifying everything they um the modifying all our food so it's more resilient to to environmental hazards pests um uh, weather hazards anything but it it are so losing its um texture its texture yeah. and it's it's um it's I quality think texture is one of the most enjoyable things about eating food absolutely and and the food nowadays is so smooth and and yeah. almost Pace you have to also have to consider that the soil especially in Australia it's it's really depleted in minerals um there are trace miner- minerals in Australian soil that you just you, 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 you just don't get like boron you know, like boron yeah, yeah, yeah like boron for example so you um you have to supplement yourself to to stay healthy yeah um in an aquaponic system you don't have to worry about this of course yeah. we You know that sort of thing because you were once a naturopath, weren't you? Or was... uh, I just studied a little bit because I have interest in it. Right. I never went um, fully qualified. I just did a bit of study and did my reading in in topics that I'm interested in. Um, it's simple because I had um, I had health issues as a child, right. so uh, I got cured by with a healthy diet, with eating healthy food. Yeah. Um, I was lucky to be raised by parents who grow food right. and also half of my family is a is a farmer's dynasty. I should point out too that uh, Frank is not just uh, interested in aquaponics he's also a top line chef he is a chef in one of the major hotels here on the Gold Coast in sunny Queensland Australia and um so Frank you're not just interested in cooking food you're interested in growing food. Yes. And is that where you see your future going? Yeah. Um somehow yeah. Um I can see my future doing aquaponics in a in a bigger scale. Um bigger scale I mean uh covering up people's backyards with aquaponics. Right. And also I'd like to um I like to design and build uh commercial systems, but that's of course mm-hmm. further down the line. But I want people to understand that they should go ahead and grow their own food because anything can happen and they will have nothing to eat true uh, are you also planning to uh, teach aquaponics uh, at all i'd like to and uh, also uh, i'm planning to write a course book and also um like to have people over on hand hands on courses just people who simply have backyards and they like to have something that is low maintenance and mm. and um saving them money while they're growing their own food. Okay, so like if I'm a householder uh and I decide that I want an aquaponics in my backyard and I get you to come and design an aquaponics system for my yard, uh what do I have to do in terms of looking after the aquaponics? Once it's installed, do I have to is it very high maintenance or what? No, it is very low maintenance. It generally takes you about 2-3 maybe 5 minutes a day um it's you simply feed your fish if you don't want to do that you can have an automatic fish feeder that you keep filling up once a week uh i personally like to feed my own fish it only takes a minute and i like the interaction with them um i like to spend that couple of minutes a day i know a lot of people saying they're busy that's why they don't grow anything they don't worry about having a garden because they just have a fast paced life mm. but you don't have to spend hours with this so you sort of generate a friendship with your fish as well 
Who yes, I've been keeping fish since I was a child. Right. What sort so, of fish do we have in the in the system? Is it um, in aquaponics, you can grow or keep any freshwater fish. You can keep goldfish if you like, just you know, in a fish tank, mm. or you can grow fish that you can eat right. down the line. I personally keep local Queensland fish, um, and I suggest everyone keep local fish. Don't. So go against are, the law. These are freshwater fish. Yeah. That, that, uh, you need freshwater fish, of yeah. course, because. And what do you? What sort of fish do you have generally? Um, I, as as I said, I keep a local Queensland fish. It's this perch. I keep jade perch. perch. Yeah. Uh, some people like to keep silver perch. Yes. I um, I keep in the jade perch. Uh, it tastes amazing. It's a nice um, oily. Uh, white flesh fish. It grows out to about four hundred grams in eight to twelve months. It depends on how much food they're getting. Of course, the amount of food you have to feed to them. It depends on the on the size of your grow area. Yeah, well, that's so, what I was going to um, ask. Um, in terms of say, if I've got a a tub which is you know yay big by yay big. Um, how many fish would I have in an area like that? I mean, is it... it depends on your grow area. So um, you count about one fish per 25 litre of wet growing media. Right. So, um, you know, you if you want to eat fish once a week, you need a size... You need a big tank. Yeah. Or a couple need, of big tanks. Yeah. You need a big grow area. Yeah. It's not even just a tank. The fish get along with each other. But you have to balance the system. And you I cannot have more fish than the amount of plants you have. I imagine that the uh, the circulation of the water, uh, being that it is through fairly big tanks, uh, that has to be pumped through. Is that right? Or? Yeah, there is one water pump uh, pumping the water around mm. uh, in, in a in a rightly designed system. You only need one water pump. That's it. You just have to pick the right size of pump. Mm. Uh, according to the amount of water that you... So it would be the around. same with hydroponics anyway, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The system looks very similar apart from we fish. keeping fish mm. in a line to fertilize. We don't use uh, fertilizer agents. So um, what are your plans for the future with this? Uh, well, first of all, I want people to understand the importance of growing food, even if it's not aquaponics. But you have a backyard, grow some vegetables. I want people to understand that um, going to think of growing plants that grow quick and super nutritious, like microherbs, is super easy to grow. Um, if you don't want aquaponics or you don't have a big aquaponic system, but you want to grow more, think out of the outside of the box. Um, a plant to educate people about these things, um, get control of your health, get control of your own food. Mm. Don't rely 100% on the su oh, food no. supply because mm. it can go oh, like so that. It saves you money. And saves you money, mm. absolutely, and it's very beneficial to your health. And also, uh, um, I know that hydroponics now is going into uh, containers and they're putting in LED lighting yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Is it possible to adapt an aquaponic system to a container? Absolutely. It's, um, it, it works the same way as a hydroponic yeah. system. Right. It's, uh, the difference is the, the, it, it be, it's being organic. You don't put fertilizer agents into the water, but it can be built exactly the same way as a hydroponic system. Right. Uh, so absolutely, you can build it into co in containers. You can build in um, big warehouses, as I've seen in Holland. They've done this. Oh, they have. Um, you know, and it works perfectly. Uh, you can grow it in any place. You can go to a dump in a complete wasteland, and you put an aquaponic system on it. It will work. You can turn a wasteland into a, an organic paradise. And the pH of the water, does that have to be fiddled with very much? I imagine the fish yeah. the fish have to have Yeah, well, the fish like a certain pH mm. level that they like to live in. Also, the plants prefer a certain pH level. Right. In fact, nutrition is getting absorbed on different pH levels. So you have to play with it slightly. You have to adjust it. Mm. That is, it's been done naturally. The pH adjustment, pH adjustment is done naturally. Mm. Also, there are trace elements that 
you don't get through the fish food, so you have to put into the water. Right. At the same time, when we are just pH, we put these elements into the water, like iron, calcium, and potassium. Okay, well, I think that's all we need to know about that. Uh, Frank, I'm quite excited about the idea of getting uh, some aquaponics myself, and uh, I wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you.